Oh, the reason I'm not wearing my glasses is because they're kind of messy and you can tell with the natural lighting and the reflecting of the light on them. So here's my face. Hi, welcome to another episode of my Camp NaNoWriMo series. Alice Goes to Camp, I guess is what I'm calling it. Today I'm in a new apartment that I just moved into. I'm only going to be here for a few weeks before I head back home for the summer, but I'll be living in this apartment all of the school year. But enough about me. Time for more about me, but more writerly related. Today's video, as you may have guessed from the title, I'm going to be doing a writer's tag that I got from Kim Chance. I'll link down below. Well, let's just get right into this writer's tag, starting with question number one. What do you eat or drink while writing? So I usually just drink water or sometimes tea or soda, but mostly water. Question number two. What do you listen to while writing? So I actually, a lot of times, will make playlists just for whatever I'm writing. Like when I'm working on a story, I'll put together a playlist of songs based on the characters and sort of the themes that I'm dealing with. And also sometimes I'll just throw in some songs that I like that I don't really know exactly why they apply, but I like them. Question number three, what is your biggest distraction while writing? ADHD. Question number four, What's the worst thing that's ever happened to you while writing? That feeling in the pit of your stomach when you're like, I don't know what to write, and so I feel like this is the end and I'm never going to write anything good ever again, and then I'm going to be washed up and I'm gonna to have to get a real job? Question number five. What's the best thing that ever happened to you while writing? Probably just like writing with friends, I guess. Writing on my own is fine enough and maybe I don't always get distracted as much, but Writing with friends is just like my favorite thing in the world. Question number six. Who do you communicate or not communicate with while writing? Like I said before, I like writing with friends. So if I'm with friends, I'll talk about what I'm writing with them. Um, but sometimes I do get sort of like hyper-focused and I don't talk to anybody, but that's few and far between. Otherwise, while I'm sort of in between writing, I definitely will talk about my story to anybody who will listen. I've gotten a little better about not giving all the details, so I'm still really excited about writing it, but still enough that I can sort of work through, you know, what I'm writing. Sometimes I will talk to Callie Noel and I'll just sort of go through everything out loud and it helps me sort of organize whatever I'm working on in my head and if there's anything that I'm not really sure what to do about, any plot holes, I can sort of work them out out loud. That really helps me. Question number seven. What is your secret to success? and your greatest writing flaw. My secret to success is outlines. I didn't used to outline. My stories were sort of all over the place and I didn't really know what I was doing. I would sort of like make notes here and there, but now I just have a big outline, especially for my longer stuff. For this story that I'm working on in July, I've already got like a two and a half page outline and my goal is to make it longer because I want to have all of the major plot holes worked out before I even run into them because otherwise that's a lot more to edit and it can be a little intimidating, which brings me to my biggest flaw, which is that I can be sort of lazy about editing, but I don't know if I'm alone in that. I think that's pretty common. I sort of finish it and I'm like, what? It's perfect, <laughs> even though I know it's not. Question number eight, what inspires you or makes you more productive? If I can't think of what to write, and this is advice that I give to a lot of my friends, if you don't know what to write, that means that you should be reading and I think that's pretty good or I guess like living life and like doing stuff but like then you have to go outside and outside is scary I wouldn't recommend it there's a sun out there but I like to make sure that I'm taking in literature or even tv shows or movies like just any sort of media a new album you know anything I can find and just sort of like think about question number nine what is one thing that you do or that other writers do that annoys you I don't know about myself because I'm perfect but actually probably a lot of things I think it's really easy to look at your own writing and just be annoyed by all of it the thing I don't like that other writers do is probably like bad romance Sorry, Lady Gaga, I don't want it. I don't want any of it. Not even just like characters that I'm like, I don't think they should get together, because that's one thing, but when it's like, this is sort of a toxic relationship, like that bothers me a lot. 
Uh, the last question, question number 10, are you willing to share something you've written? Yes, I will link down below to a couple times I have had things published. One of them is like a 200 word short story, another one is a much longer, probably like 3,000 word story, and the last one you actually have to buy a copy of, it's like a poem, you have to like buy the literary journal it's in. Don't feel like you have to do that. I know that my amazing fame might make you feel that it is necessary, but you do you. But I mean, if you do, it's cool to support literary journals, so go for it. Next week's video is gonna be another tag, but it's gonna be actually like about the project that I'm working on this July, so hopefully that'll be interesting. And if you're like, what are you even writing about? Well, you're gonna find out in the next video. But yeah, that's everything I've got today. Thanks for watching. See you next week, I guess. I need a better sign off. Give me suggestions down below. Get in the comments. Get in the comments. That's probably not a good way to sign off, but if you don't suggest something else, then how will I know?